Hey folks, it's Justin. Until recently, vitamin A has always been reported in international units, but new labeling regulations now require the reporting of vitamin A in micrograms of RAE. There is a lot of confusion in the nutrition community about converting beta carotene that is expressed in international units to vitamin A that is expressed as micrograms of retinol activity equivalents, RAEs. Conversion errors often occur because the two steps that are necessary are not being taken into account. It's so confusing that the FDA has recently issued guidance for the industry on converting units of measurement for vitamin A that you can read here at this website. According to the National Research Council, increased intake of vitamin A helps to prevent cancer, benefits the eyes, and has numerous other health benefits. Vitamin A was formerly measured in international units, but with the introduction of new nutritional rules, it is now measured in micrograms RAE, retinol activity equivalents. The NIH, National Institute of Health, supplies the following conversion rates. There are two steps of the conversion process. During the first step, one IU of retinol from animal sources equals 0.3 micrograms RAE. 1 IU supplemental beta carotene equals 0.6 micrograms RAE. 1 IU dietary beta carotene equals 0.05 milligrams RAE. 1 IU dietary alpha carotene or beta cryptoxanthin equals 0.025 micrograms RAE. The second step of the conversion process is 1 micrograms RAE equals one micrograms retinol. And again, retinol is from animal sources. So in parentheses, you can see how that works. If you have an animal source of one IU, it's gonna be equal to 0 0.3 micrograms of retinol. One microgram RAE equals two micrograms supplemental beta carotene. In parentheses, you can see how that works. One IU equals 0 0.6 from step one divided by two equals 0 0.3 micrograms. One microgram RAE equals 12 micrograms beta carotene from food. In parentheses, one IU equals 0 0.6 divided by 12 equals 0 0.05. One microgram RAE equals 24 micrograms alpha carotene or beta cryptoxanthin in parentheses one IU equals 0 0.6 divided by 24 equals 0 0.025. While these nutritional rules do seem intentionally confusing, PubMed article PMC 7373782 from the NIH website attempts to explain it as follows. One microgram RAE equals two micrograms of supplemental beta carotene. Therefore, the two-step process above can be used to calculate the amount of beta carotene in food as follows. Example one, supplemental beta carotene. If you have 5,000 international units, that's going to equal 1,500 micrograms RAE. Multiply 5,000 times 0 0.6 and divide by two. Example two, carrot. That is a plant source of beta carotene. 17,000 international units is going to be equal to 850 micrograms RAE. Come to this number by multiplying 17,000 by 0 0.6 and dividing by 12. In the third example, we have an animal source. Beef liver equals 26,000 international units equals 7,800 micrograms RAE. To come to this number, simply multiply 26,000 times 0 0.3. Using these calculations, you can get conversion numbers that match the NIH website found here. There are many wrong answers on the internet surrounding this question, and many websites are incorrectly reporting that a 100 gram serving of carrots supplies more than 1000% of the vitamin A recommended dietary allowance. The problem seems to be that most calculations do not take into account that all supplemental forms of beta carotene including beta carotene from plant-based foods, must use 0.6 as the base number, while only retinol from animal sources will use 0.3 as the base number. 
beta carotene sources, that is to say plant-based sources, then convert at a two to one ratio, changing the number 0.6 back to 0.3. The NIH website itself is vague on this point, but this is the only way to get the calculations to match theirs. Despite the confusion, the intention of the new nutritional rules is to emphasize the fact that vitamin A is easier to absorb and utilize when it is consumed in the form of retinol. Retinol is found exclusively in animal products such as liver, grass-fed eggs, butter, and dairy. What the new nutritional rules do not mention is that animal sources of vitamin A, retinol, can be toxic if consumed in excessive quantities. This condition, known as hypervitaminosis A, can cause a range of adverse effects. Symptoms of acute vitamin A toxicity include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and blurred vision. Chronic toxicity can lead to more severe issues such as liver damage, bone pain, and skin changes. So again, in the new nutritional rules, vitamin A is now measured in micrograms RAE, retinol activity equivalents. In 2024, the vitamin A recommended dietary allowance for adults aged 19 and older is 900 micrograms RAE for males, 700 micrograms RAE for females, 770 micrograms RAE for pregnant women, and 1300 micrograms RAE for breastfeeding women. You can find a complete list of foods that are high in vitamin A at www.chinesenutrition.org in the Chinese Nutrition Masterclass. Extremely high levels of vitamin A can be found in animal liver, including beef liver and cod liver oil, as well as microalgae such as spirulina. High levels of vitamin A are found in vegetable sources such as sweet potatoes, pumpkins, carrots, spinach, kale, butternut squash, dandelion greens, Swiss chard, beet greens, and winter squash. Other good sources of vitamin A include romaine lettuce, savoy cabbage, turnip greens, red bell peppers, mustard greens, watercress, endive, chili powder, dried apricots, cantaloupe, and eggs. Vitamin A is essential for vision, especially night vision, as it forms the visual pigment rhodopsin in the retina. It supports immune function by maintaining the integrity of skin and mucosal cells, activating the thymus gland, and fortifying the protective chi to prevent penetration by viruses. Vitamin A also plays a critical role in cellular communication, growth, and cellular differentiation during fetal development. Additionally, it's involved in bone repair. Vitamin A is essential for the metabolism of protein by the body, and it greatly enhances the production of RNA. Vitamin A functions as an antioxidant and has been called the most potent scavenger of free radicals in the body. It is widely accepted that vitamin A neutralizes the effects of air pollution in the mouth, throat, nose, and lungs. Vitamin A deficiency is widespread, and some nutritionists recommend 5 to 10 times the recommended daily allowance. Since vitamin A is consumed by the liver to process out excesses from the body, a diet that includes too much fat and protein can be the cause of vitamin A deficiency. Therefore, the first step to resolve a vitamin A deficiency is to reduce excesses in the diet, and the second step is to supplement with whole foods that are rich in vitamin A. While green foods and yellow foods both tend to be good sources of carotenes that can be converted into vitamin A, green foods convert beta-carotene into vitamin A at more than twice the rate of yellow foods. Chlorophyll and beta-carotene have a synergistic relationship in which chlorophyll activates key enzymes that produce vitamin E, vitamin K, and vitamin A. While animal liver contains high levels of vitamin A in the form of retinol, the advantage of using vegetable sources is their non-toxic properties. While excess beta-carotene can be stored in the body until it's needed and is not toxic, excessive consumption of vitamin A through animal products, retinol, is toxic in large doses. Much of the information in this video has been provided as a free excerpt from the Chinese Nutrition Masterclass. If you found this information helpful and have an interest in optimizing your nutrition, visit www.chinesenutrition.org and sign up for a free account to find out how Chinese medicine and Chinese nutrition can benefit your health. You can also schedule a free consultation with me and find out more about how the Chinese Nutrition Masterclass can take your health to the next level. In the Chinese Nutrition Masterclass, we take an integrative approach to understanding a variety of health problems in terms of both Eastern and Western medicine. 
by learning how to understand your medical diagnosis according to the principles of traditional Chinese medicine, you'll be unlocking the secrets of Chinese medicine for you and your family. Get prepared to expand your consciousness and improve your health. Take the first step today and register for more information at www.chinesenutrition.org. Check the link in the description below to get started today.